the Jen Spice channel. Now today we're going to do something a little different. I use vanilla in a lot of things. Sometimes I use real vanilla and I also use alcohol in a lot of my products. So we've got a big mm -hmm. bottle of Crown Royal, which is a Canadian whiskey, and five vanilla beans. Now I will be adding more vanilla beans to this if it's not strong enough, but once we create our um, vanilla, we will have how much is that? Almost two liters of vanilla, that which will probably last me 10 years, but you know, only gets better up over time. So let me show you how this is done. It's super, super easy. All right, so you do not have to use Crown Royal to make your vanilla. This is how I am making it this time. In the past, I have made it with Jack Daniels. I have made it with Kentucky Bourbon. I have made it with vodka. I just find I like the whiskey flavor in my chocolate chip cookies <laughs> um, and it actually doesn't taste like whiskey my chocolate chip cookies don't taste like whiskey but it just that earthiness that we're gonna take off this all so um, if you do use vodka use the highest proof alcohol that you can find. Um, I have heard of people using Everclear if you want a pure, 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 just whatever your vanilla beans taste like kind of vanilla. Um, I also really, really, really like Mexican vanilla and sometimes I will get the, um, some Mexican vanilla and um, I will mix it to flavor it. So he's, these are the vanilla beans that I've cracked open. I'm going to save this cute little beaker for something fun. I don't know, something in my soapy kitchen. It's just going to go here for now. Probably something vanilla scented. Wouldn't that be fun? Now you can just plop them in if you have like 20, <laughs> which I do somewhere, but I, I seem to have misplaced them. I do that kind of thing all the time. I will buy scads and scads of something and then just, you know, but what I'm gonna do just to speed up the process a little bit, and so I get little specks of vanilla bean coming through, I'm gonna split these beans, okay? Now these are tools from my culinary kitchen, even though I'm shooting up here in my soapy kitchen, because this stuff is actually going to be for my soapy kitchen. But I want the option of being able to, you know, steal some from time to time, because that's a lot of vanilla. <laughs> All right, now you can just, these are so fresh. These are from Papua New Guinea. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the price of vanilla has skyrocketed. The last year was the worst. Oh my gosh, it was the worst. I actually was able to make, because I had beans on hand before the crisis hit, I was able to make my own, um, vanilla bean paste, which is something I also make for my baking. So you get all the nice, wonderful vanilla beans. So I'm going to open this up a little bit. I'm not just going to split it. I'm going to expose it before I pop it in with that fiery mixture. Just a little bit, not completely, because I'll want to use some of these beans um, in my baking. I will often if I'm putting new beans in, because these will last forever, right? Um, if I'm putting new beans in, I'll take out some of the old beans and use them for vanilla sugar, scrape them into salt and make a vanilla salt. That is incredible, by the way. I'll have to show you guys how I make vanilla salt. Maybe I'll make a vanilla salt with a Salish sea salt that I've created. That might be cool. If you want to see any of these things, just make sure you remind me and let me know and we'll treat it as a request and it'll come up a lot faster. I had people really interested in the whip soap, so it's already out there. Not whip soap, cream soap. And we're going to be doing a lot with that cream soap. So if you want to do some stuff right along with me, now is the time to make it. So you have, hopefully have goodies ready. material ready in time. Oh, this is awesome. These are beautiful beans. Nice job, Papua New Guinea. Woo. Oh, they smell incredible. Just 
incredible. Alrighty, here we go. And this is vanilla. It is no longer Crown Royal. Well, it's Crown Royal flavored vanilla, <laughs> technically. But as those beans permeate, it turns into an extract. All right. Um, like I said, you can use vodka. You can use um, bourbon. You can use, I, I even have tried it with mead. I haven't actually taste, you know, used it in anything yet, but I do have it done so I can show you that later. I've got projects I've got on my on my plate that I might want to use it with, especially some beauty products. Um, now, the hardest part about this particular recipe is you now have to put it aside and forget that you have it for several months to a year. Um, so, you know, plan ahead of time if you want nice, strong vanilla. See this, in, in, in two months, I'm gonna add another five beans. A two months after that, I'll add another two, five beans until this is like full of beans. And then I can use those beans because they're preserved by the alcohol and other things and also have an extremely strong vanilla extract. This time made with Crown Royal Fine Deluxe, Fine Deluxe Canadian Whiskey. Huh. From Ontario. I don't know. I've never, never really done much with this, but I like the bottle. <laughs> and my cousin, my cousin sent me one of these. She made me a Crown Royal, um, uh, mint, mint right here. Let me show you guys. I totally need to put it in the wash because I've used it a lot. She made a mint out of this, out of one of the, I guess she got one that came in a bag, like it was really special for the holidays or something. And I, I know it's dirty, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, to my cousin. <laughs> um, yeah. So that is the start of a very fine vanilla extract made with Canadian and Papua New Guinea ingredients. Okay guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Here is a big jug of Crown Royal vanilla. All right, look at how it's changed in color. It's a nice dark amber. I will be adding more beans to this every month. I'll put another four or five beans in there until it's nice and full. I can pull those beans out and use them for other projects. But for now, Let's do the sniff test. Oh yeah, baby. That smells like vanilla. Should we do the taste test too? Ooh. Ooh. Let's do the taste test. Is it vanilla? Is it vanilla? Oh yeah, that's vanilla. Oh, that's nice. Okay, there we go. Crown Royal. Oh my goodness, that's an awesome vanilla. Vanilla. Okay, so we're gonna do some more of these vanilla beans if you didn't uh, see it before. We'll see if we can. I got these at Costco. You can get these about 20 bucks right now for five beans. These are from Papua New Guinea. Ooh, this recipe's on the back of the table too. Okay, that's supposed to make it easy to get it out, huh? Okay. Let's see if I get a big knife in here. You can do. Yep. Okay. Ah! Yes, see, one of these days I told you I was going to hurt myself. Okay. Okay. Happy New Year, guys. these little so I love these little beakers are so cute so we have five beans we're gonna put them in I'm gonna save that beaker for playing another day so you want to I'm gonna get a smaller knife if I've got one Good knife 
Kids are downstairs, not in my soapy kitchen. Well, this is embarrassing. I'm going to have to steal a small knife from downstairs. I'll be right back. Okay, I got another scary looking knife. I think this is a tomato knife, but I'm really not sure. So, I'm taking off my gloves because, well, this is for me. And um, this is knife work. <laughs> and I don't want to cut myself accidentally. I'm going to set the alcohol to the side. And work on these beans. You're going to split them right down the center. And you're going to want to open it up to expose those beans. Because you want to get those in the alcohol. Most of them won't be floating around in there. If you don't like specks in your vanilla, well then you don't. Strain it first, I guess. Why anybody would do that? I don't know. I think it's wonderful stuff. I love vanilla specks. I think I get vanilla specks under my nails now. Pop that in. I've already got a dozen or so in there. We're going to put another five. Oh, that is not a very sharp knife. Let's try again. Okay, I think I cut it that time. No. Okay. Definitely cut it that time. <laughs> Definitely open that time. Get in. So has anybody else made their own vanilla? And if so, what kind of alcohol did you use? I know a lot of people like to use vodka, but for some reason we tried Kentucky bourbon one time and uh, I just had to try a different whiskey. I just had to and this I think is going to be nice. Look at all those beautiful beans. My hands are going to smell heavenly. <sighs> Probably for a day or so. Well, the rest of this night anyway. Oh my goodness. Nice juicy beans. I don't know why Costco was blowing them out. Does anybody know why they wouldn't be getting the Papua New Guinea beans back? Maybe they're getting them to Mexico or Morocco again. I don't know. It is a new year. Maybe the crops are back. I'm swinging. I don't know. And a nice cloth of soap, the vanilla, which will get, just get darker. It'll actually turn black when you have, when you're, when you're at your highest quality or highest amount that uh, this can extract. It just gets better with time. All right, they will keep indefinitely. So keep that in mind. And like I said, you can reuse the... The beans for other things if they've been in there a long time and you want them for another project. See those beans in there? This is enough vanilla extract to hey last. Guys, me I just a wanted long, to show long. you that you can also make vanilla extract with um, homebrew. So this is mead and it is three years old and it has some beautiful beans in it. And we're going to be making chocolate chip cookies and it's going to be amazing. So you don't have to use vodka, you don't have to use whiskey, you can use any kind of high alcohol um, beverage. And I can, I'm going to add more beans to this because that little bit has made it wow. Um, so it's going to be wonderful, wonderful cookies with this. 
and um, I've made these for gifts for my family in the past and I will definitely be making some more soon. So we'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make extracts, in particular vanilla extract, and I hope you give it a go on your own. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>